Before I do any nav mesh navigation, I want to set up some layers first. If I click on the character, for example, here we have a bunch of layers. By default, we have, I think we have about eight layers that are set up there by default. So if you click on add layer, you know, we could add different layers to different objects. Okay. If I click on the player again, now we can choose different layers for each object. I'm just going to go in there and delete everything except for the default ones. You can use these layers to decide which layer you want it to physically interact with another layer. If I go into project settings here and go to physics, Here we have all the layers and we have all the box checked, all the boxes checked. Normally you don't want this because this is going to bring down your performance. So for me, most of the time I just set off everything except default. When I do this, the default layers are only going to physically interact or collide with other default layers. So any object that has post-processing layer, for example, is not going to collide with another object that has the default layer. So if I go back, in most cases, you're going to have everything set at default. Oops. Okay. The problem with this is that you can set this up manually, but even if you export your entire project, as a package, for example, if you upload this in the Unity Asset Store, this setting or any project setting is not going to get saved in your package. So every time you create a new project, download a new package, and if that package happens to use some custom layer, you have to input everything by hand every time you import them. For me, I want to create a bunch of NAF mesh agents that interact with just the environment and not the player. And I don't want to do that by hand. So I've created a prefab here with a bunch of custom buttons. And if I press add RB default layers here, okay. And if I go back, we have a bunch of layers added by default. This is just a quick and dirty solution. Um, I've added a folder here called layer adder. You can download everything in the links below. And if I go into the code, here I have some enum that I want them to exist as the default layer for my game. For post-processing, I don't know why this isn't set up there by default. If I go into add layer, this is there when you create a new project, but unlike any other layers, you can delete this. So it's why I added this here. I want to add post-processing just in case it gets delete deleted. If I go back to the code and press Control T, layer adder, layer adder editor, this is what makes the buttons work. I'm not going to go through every code, but the key part here is this line, line 77, get all layers. What I'm doing here is simply find every single layer that exists inside the scene and I put it into a dictionary. So the string is going to be the layer name and, and this is the key for the dictionary. The value that goes in is the int. If I look at the editor again, every layer has the int assigned to them. So this is the int and we go from zero to eight and 31. You can't change anything below eight. So this is where I'm going to start. And all I'm doing is simply get the element, get the layer name. And if it's an empty layer, I can add new ones or I can also change layer names. The key part here is getting every single layer and putting it into a dictionary. So you can find a layer that you want or you can find a layer that's not used add a new layer or delete a layer, modify it, do whatever you want. But everything starts here by finding all the layers first. So if I go back to Unity, I have a few more functions. 
for the layer adder. If I click here, set default layer collisions, and take a look at the project settings again, only default is going to be checked. I also have uncheck all layer collisions. This is going to uncheck everything. And I also have check all layer conditions. And it's going to check everything. So if anybody's downloading my packages, what you want to do to set up the default layer is simply find the prefab, click on add RB default layers and then click on set default layer conditions. And wait a few seconds. Now we just have the default box checked. And we also have all the custom layers that we want. If I go back to the script and check where the default boxes are being checked, here it is, line 38. So right now I'm only checking default to default, but later I could have some other layer collisions like character, for example. I could have the character interacting with the ground, for example. If I save and go back to Unity, now if I click on set default layer collisions, give it a few seconds. Now we have the character interacting with the ground and default interacting with other default layers. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna set this up later. Okay, I don't know where, why there's lag between the press and the boxes being unchecked, but that's not really an issue. So I think everything works fine. If I go back and play the game, all we did was change some layers, so it shouldn't make any difference in the gameplay. And by default, we have everything set up as the default layer, so it's colliding with the player is colliding with the, the environment. It's also gonna collide with the other character and everything works fine. Okay, again, you can download everything in the links below and let me know if you have any questions or comments and that'll be for today. Thanks for watching.